Good evening, viewers. Tonight, we're embarking on a journey to explore the economic zeniths of nations, and we're starting with a country that might surprise you. We often gauge a nation's wealth by its gross domestic product, GDP, per capita, a key indicator of economic well-being. And currently topping the charts is none other than Luxembourg. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Luxembourg boasts a GDP per capita of a staggering $135,700. Despite being one of the smallest nations globally, Luxembourg's GDP is a noteworthy $89.1 billion. Imagine that, a landlocked nation surrounded by Belgium, France, and Germany. And yet, it stands tall as a major financial hub with a population of just 639,000. This small yet mighty nation has earned its place as one of the wealthiest in the world. Tonight, we're in for a treat as our correspondent, John, takes us on an exclusive tour of this economic marvel. Over to you, John. Hello, my friend. So what did we do now? What? We just had the breakfast. Yeah. In Belgium. Yeah. Wonderful now we breakfast. Gotta go. Wonderful breakfast. Wonderful breakfast. Wonderful. Yeah. So now what are we going to do? We're going to go to Luxembourg. Yeah. Richest country in the world. Yeah, the richest country. Richest, richest country. Yeah. Let, let's see how rich they are, okay? Yeah. Let's no go. Problem. Okay, let's go. Place, eh? This way it's more clear. Let's go, Steve. Let's go. Let's wait a couple of minutes. No? We shouldn't drop it. We should go, no? But that's so fun to see. This for. There's a, a bike logo. Yeah. And for us. You see the... It's red. red. Yeah? It's red. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can see many Asian here. No. They are tourists, come on. I know, Just like I... you. I mean, tourists shouldn't come here. What do you mean? You are a tourist. I am a tourist, sir. But if, we, if they just come to Europe for, 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 for travel, they should find a better place to go. What do you mean? I mean, it's a very scenario like chat here. Maybe, they, maybe they're like us, so they want to travel. We just walk. Mm -hmm. Take a... So, we are... We... Okay, no problem. <laughs> so, we are in Luxembourg. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. the richest country in the world, it seems. Okay. So everything is free. Uh, everything is free. No. No. How about the food? <laughs> Not the food, but the transport and the train. Yeah. And that's what, everything is free, so. Yeah. It's free for us. The food is free, everything is free. Okay. So, so what are your thing now? What are your fear? We go, we go. We, we, we will get everything for free. Okay. You want to go in? Take it out. You want to go in? Later. Yeah, sure. Thank you. The honor is mine.
the richest country at its struggle, right? So, to remember this monument would be the best. Okay. Five minutes just. Okay. It's okay? Okay. Okay, next. Check please. Next. What languages do you speak in Luxembourg? Um comment? Quel langue vous parlez? Oh, je parle français. Non, en le Country as its books, eh? As you can see, wow. The bridge behind, people behind. Is it place? Let's go. There's Let's go. Place. Yeah, we should. Now we're gonna go check. That was. This is gonna be pissed. What the fuck? Yeah, of course. Ah, you should get if you want. I will see the price first. <laughs> you are a smart man, bro. Why not? Because I, I know which. Yeah, of course. Which, okay, I'll buy it. Are you worried? No, I'll die. <laughs> Come on. No, we'll die. Try, try this. And why they don't put the price? Oh. Yeah, we have, we have to get. Do you think it's good? I don't know. Which one do you think speaks to you? Which one did we see? I don't I want nothing. Try a special one. Yep. Why I want to buy it later because I want to to explore the city first and then go which one. Okay. A, a that, that, okay, okay, let's go. Yeah, but I just watched it. Let's go. Let's go. So apparently they do it everywhere. It's like a Christmas market. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna just gonna go around a little bit. <laughs> well, it's like a tradition in uh, Luxembourg, to be honest, uh, around Europe, I would say. The place is how people are chilling because it's so cold. People are having uh, house fires. As you can see. So apparently, as you can see, the guard there is like the royal, royal guard, like in England, it seems like. They have this culture, I guess, in Luxembourg. The same uh, way as the royal family, I guess. Interesting. 
What do you it's think, because Steve? of the shape of the Um I want to be that person because he's boring. <laughs> you, um, really boring. No? He's boring, yeah, he's so boring. But, yeah. I don't know, but uh, it's, not, it's the richest country in the world, but uh, I don't know. I understand. There's nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do. Yeah, so how do you spend the money? So, <laughs> so they're rich. So they're <laughs> That's rich. why they're rich. Yeah, because nothing they they save everything. They save nothing all the money they earned. Nothing to do. Yeah, and it's we who spends it. Yeah, and we finish our country within three hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is nice, bro. You have to try. Okay. You have to try. Mm -hmm. It's, it's true why actually there's nothing to do so they don't spend the money and stuff Gonna stay here till uh, 3 a.m. So what are we gonna do? What do you feel now? With your hand. What? Show, show me your hand. Why? Yeah. Take off the gloves. No, I'll die. You see, I can smoke. Okay, I can see. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I'll die. I, I want. I want to see how how you fight brave with your hand. Hey. How oh, is it? <laughs> you don't have to expose me. Like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We live to see another day. Okay. Bye. Our adventure begins. Okay. Okay. Hi, John. No. What? We started. No, but Where are you going? But the Shaolin soccer is the best, no? No, Shaolin soccer is good, but I think Kung Fu is the best. Yeah, the Kung Fu first, but the film about the, the woman. We should have. <laughs> yeah, I. I appreciate. No, because, because, yeah, I really appreciate you remember everything about the movie. No, because that in that film. Yeah. You remember, she would say because he will change the new shoe. Yeah. You remember, you, you use the new shoe, yeah. so you lose the match. Yeah. So she will come and give the old shoe. Yeah. Saying that you shouldn't forget the old things. That's. You should that's never forget so, the old things, no? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. We're in Luxembourg. Okay. So you should never forget where we come from, no? <laughs> okay, no problem. It's true. It's true. Okay, no problem. Remember all the friends, all the poems that we made? Okay. Wow, let's see. Okay, it's everywhere is so beautiful. Let's just enjoy. Okay. The time that we have. So, I would say, at the end of the trip, it was the last, you know, the last night so we need to come back so what happened was that we had the bus at 3 a.m so the next day so the night we have to spend till 2 a.m in the city to come back so what happened is that we don't know what to do because the christmas market was supposed to close at 8 p.m and 10 p.m so we had to find a way so what we did was we were searching for the which other restaurants that are open till midnight which is 2 a.m so and then we found out that the burger king is unfortunately fortunately sorry fortunately open till 3 a.m so what i did was we told them okay we can stay in burger king till 2 a.m or 1 30 a.m and then we take the bus go to the station go to the place where we take the bus the bus station so what happened is that we, we spent there we talking all the stuff you know the the boys talk, we are talking about life, everything, you know, the normal talks. And then what happened is that me and him, we started to go outside. 
and it was freezing cold. When I say freezing, it was literally freezing. And then when I came, we both. Went, I just went outside because I can't sit in the same place because I'm crazy like that. So I went back outside. I was roaming, and then we both went to the bus stand. We walked everywhere. We walked till the bus stand, and then, fortunately, again Luxembourg, the transport is free. So the bus came on too, which is really really nice for me because where I'm, the place I'm living now, the bus every transport stops at maximum midnight thirty. So what we did is we went there. The first bus we missed because of it. We were just not sure where to take. And the second bus, and then we went there. It was freezing cold and it was near like a forest. So we don't know what was happening. And there was no shelter, nothing whatsoever. So it was freezing cold. And then, fortunately, there is another couple who were there in the Burger King with me. They also was there. Then we were there from Argentina. So we were just talking some stuff and you know asking them if we were, we were in the same bus, everything. And somehow, I don't know, somehow, with uh, the the devil's grace, I would say, the bus was supposed to come at 3 a.m. But It came at 4 a.m. We were freezing. Literally, my legs, my legs, my fingers, was freezing. Literally freezing. And then what happened was that uh, I started doing push-ups. I have to keep ourselves warm. I need to find a way. And there was another guy who was, was Dutch. So we were talking, we were walking, and then fortunately another another team came with the, in the limo. It was unbelievable for me. They came in the limo to take the bus, which was like cheap as 25 euros. I just want to flex, I guess. And then what happened was that we were trying to find. And I had an idea in my mind, which is because I saw a trash can, and then I saw the paper, all the stuff. So what I wanted to do is, I, he was smoking, so I went and took his lighter. Then we started. We started like a campfire to chillax, and then he said. He said, and everyone was saying it's normal. I didn't even think about the laws there. And he said it's perfectly fine. The law is okay. You can make a campfire if it's so cold. So we made the campfire. We were chilling, you know, and then finally the bus came. It was really nice. My my feet were frozen. So what I did is I took, I removed my shoes and my socks in the bus and was just rubbing it against the floor. Well, it was a nice trip, but Luxembourg, there is nothing, lots of things. I don't, I don't know. You can't, you can't do lots of things personally. I would say I would prefer Spain or something like that. So what happened was, and then I came to leave the home. Now nothing smells like home. When I came, you know, there was snow. Finally. Yeah, finally. But there was still snow last year, right? Yes. Yeah. So, this is the first snow in this year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also. Need to go to ads. We need to go to Luxembourg again. No ads. <laughs> no Luxembourg, not anymore. Fuck off. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's so cool. Home, is, home sweet home, eh? Home sweet home. Yeah, we will miss her. Enjoy it? Of course you enjoy it. Nothing feels like home. Nothing feels like home, right? Yeah. It's another adventure, yeah? Yeah. Yeah.